Crown Zenith cards are getting absolutely destroyed right now. I'm going to show you guys why that's kind of happening. And I'm going to show you guys which cards you should probably be looking at picking up right now. But first off, we're just going to take a look at a few sealed products. The ETB is actually holding pretty strong for Crown Zenith, even though these have been pretty widely available for a little while now. Um, up 3% on the three-month chart. We're not going to focus on this for too long because we want to get to the singles. But the reason that a lot of these singles are tanking right now is because of this box right here. This is the Sea and Sky Premium Collection. Now, there's a ton of packs in here, and these were available at Sam's Clubs for like 40 bucks, and people were buying these like by the pallet. Uh, you could buy them online. I think the limit was like 50 boxes, and this is the cheapest per pack that you could get uh, for Crown Zenith. It, it was super cheap, and I think people are ripping a ton of these. And with the ETBs being still like kind of available and, and whatnot, I think that is what drive is driving these singles prices down. And we're gonna we're gonna get into that right now. But uh, first off, this is a uh, just a post from Reddit right here. You guys can see uh, people were talking about this for a while. These C and Sky boxes, thirty nine bucks, so call it forty bucks at Sam's Club. So yeah, you're gonna see that um, right there. Also, something that is interesting, the booster bundles. We've talked about this before. Look at what they're going for on tcg player 40 bucks these are selling for 40 bucks you can still pre-order these from best buy and i believe gamestop for 24 bucks for the booster bundle so just keep that in mind um just something for you guys to look at if you guys want to pick them up there they are now you guys have the information at your hands um the singles we're going to dive into the singles but you can see something interesting right here it does not have a hundred dollar card anymore the giratina has slipped under a hundred which is wild. Some of these prices are so cheap. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna be looking at these like these top cards right here, and we're gonna do a, a little deeper dive here. But we'll start off with the Giratina, obviously. So not that long ago, it was you know 117 bucks. It dipped, came back up. It dipped again. We are sub 100. dollars I've seen some eBay sales in like the high 80s, low 90s. It, it depends. Obviously, depends on condition of the card, but this is not looking good for this card right now. And I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure it's just because we're getting a lot of singles flooding the market. And that would make sense when a lot of products being opened. But this is, if you guys are looking at picking up some Crown Zenith, possibly master setting it, or you just want to get the gold cards. Um, also, if you haven't seen these cards in person, these gold cards are absolutely stunning. This does not do it justice. They are shiny and beautiful. The Giratina this might be the time to pick it up. Sub 100. I don't know how long it's going to stay uh, sub 100. But back here, I mean, for a long time, you know what's crazy? Is you could have got this for like 60 bucks. Anyways, it had its big run up. Peaked at 138. And it's on its decline. Um, I would expect this card to bounce back just because of the po popularity of the Pokemon and the gold card. Uh, but it does depend on how many flood, flood the market. If it gets flooded, you know, then we could see that going down. But So yeah, just keep that in mind. The Giratina might be looking at it picking this up it might be a good time we have the arceus which is same thing down 16.8 percent it's just and it's just diving this card obviously not as desired as the giratina not as popular of a pokemon i think giratina is more popular stunning card same thing uh, you guys might want to keep an eye on these cards see when they how far they fall see when they bottom out it's definitely a good time to be picking up these golds Next up, we have the Mewtwo. Same thing, man. This card, beautiful card, by the way. Fighting Charizard. He's doing the, he's doing like the Kamehameha something. Looks cool. 18.6% um, down. I mean, it's just free falling right now. Not, I mean, it's not free falling like crazy. 18% uh, is a lot, but it's from 58 down to 53, and it just it looks real steep. But keep an eye on this card as well. This is a very popular card, extremely popular Pokemon on it, so you guys might want to keep an eye and see when this when this bottoms out, okay? And this is going to be a common theme for all of these cards, right? And we got the Palkia gold card, once again, super stunning. These never do it justice. 14, call it 15%, 14.9, 15% down on the three-month chart, and it's, it's going down. We'll pull up the one-year, take a little look at it. Um, you could have had this for 30 bucks, not... Not too long ago, and it had its big run up to almost 70, and now it's it's going down again. So keep an eye on all of these cards. 
honestly, even if you pick them up right now, these are not bad pickup points for these cards. These cards will rebound at some point. Crown Zenith is an epic set. And, yes, but for me, if I my advice to you guys, if you're looking at picking up any of these cards, watch the charts. See when they bottom out. Okay? And that would indicate a buy point to me. Uh, so, yeah, just, just keep an eye on it. Same thing with the Dialga. Down 23% wild um it's just it's crazy how far that some of these cards have gone very similar chart here on the one year it's up 20 percent on the one year but 62 was its high so yeah um down nine percent in one month so yeah um another stunning card you could pick all these cards up for pretty cheap now get the set of all the gold cards so that would be nice for your collection or if you're looking to pick up any of these to finish off your master set it's it's looking like this is the time we got the Glaceon, super stunning card, extremely popular Pokemon, Evolution down 28%. That's a big drop. 28% is a lot uh, on the three-month chart. The one month, it, it's starting to climb up a little bit on the one month, so it might have found its bottom, potentially. We will see, but keep an eye on that because it, it, it fluctuates a little, so just keep an eye on it. Still a good, uh, good buying point. At its peak right here, it hit 42 I mean, that's a big retrace. It's dropped $20. That's a lot. So, yeah, Glaceon down 20 bucks off of its one-year high. That's that's a big retrace. So, yeah, this might be a solid pickup point if you guys are looking at the charts here. Then we have uh, another Evolution. 34.5% on the Leafeon. I hate to see it. But, um, yeah, this peak was around similar. 43 down to, yeah... Wow, so like over twenty dollar drop. Even on the one month, it's down ten percent. So it's just it's just coming down. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this this has to do with all the singles that are flooding the market. So many people. I mean, I was seeing people in the Discord. They're ripping packs left and right. So uh, on on the Discord, on Reddit, um, other YouTube videos, obviously you'll see tons of people ripping these boxes, and it makes sense. So. Yeah, that's going to drive the single prices down. Now we have the Suicune. Super, this is um, probably of the, the Legendary Dogs. Probably my favorite. But, uh, yeah, it's a great looking card. Um, yeah, I have this. I have all the, the Legendary Dogs in a PSA 10. So, pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, you know, price is tanking. But uh, down 19.6%. We'll take a look at the one year where it peaked up at. Peaked up at 30 so it's down yeah that's quite a bit from 30 to 18 so yeah it it looks like on the one month still dropping so if you're wanting to optimize your price on the suicune maybe see kind of where it ends up but yeah it's not like these rebound too terribly fast so as long as you're keeping an eye on them you should be able to pick these up at a good price raikou's only down 10.2 percent he's at 1882 uh same thing on the one year he was all the way up to only 23 dollars he dropped down to 17, came back up to 20, so yeah, um, this might be a, it, it's just, same thing for all the cards. Keep an eye on them, you'll see, you'll see when they bottom out. Then the Entei, Entei got hit hard, 23.9%. Uh, it's actually rebounded a little, up 5% on the one month chart, so keep an eye on that. This one might have found its bottom, possibly, just gotta take a look at it. Um, the one year, let's see what it peaked at. But it peaked all the way back here. That's weird at 31. Although this was the recent alt art like kind of peak was 26. So uh, I don't know what this peak's all about. That's kind of wild. I don't know if that was a buyout or something. Um, if you guys know, let me let me know in the comments what what this uh, what, what was the date, what this November peak was on the Entei. Let me know. Then we have the Deoxys. This is kind of an underrated um, popular Pokemon, but underrated card. I feel like just dollar wise, uh, this is a great looking card. Yeah, it doesn't quite get the love. I, I feel it deserves. It's really cool. Uh, but on the three-month chart, this is probably the only exception. Currently, it's pretty much even on the one month. It's actually up 5%. We'll pull up the uh, one year, see how much it went up. See, it had a little delayed. Like, it did a 16, and it ran back up. And So, the, the Deoxys right now might be kind of an exception to the rule. So, yeah, maybe keep an eye on this one as well. It's not as uh, definitive of like it's dropping wait for it to bottom because it's doing something weird so 
Um, yeah, keep an eye on this one. Not, luckily, not too expensive of a card. As we work down this list, we're going from expensive to least expensive. We have the Dark Riot, another stunning card, underrated. Cool Pokemon. Uh, $15, down 15% on the three month chart. On the one month, it's bounced up, back up a little, so 3.95%, so keep an eye on that. The six month is up a little, but if we pull up the one year chart, it peaked at around, just call it 20 bucks, and it's down to 15, so a $5 drop. Percentage wise, is kind of a big drop for the Dark Rye. Then we have the Zorark, 11.68% on the three month chart. This is a cool card too. It, sometimes it can kind of, t it's hard to tell what's going on, but I do like uh, the artwork on this card. Um, so on the one month, it's kind of even. So this might be, it looks like you can see this little tail right here. Sorry, every time this chart comes up. Um, but you can see that it is kind of leveling out. So this might be a, could be a buying opportunity for this card. So we'll just keep an eye on that. This card also, it's one year high was back here. So that's interesting as well. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool um, underrated card. Let's see, we got Irida down oh, almost 30 percent this card's been hitting hard the one month see if it's bouncing back no it's still tanking so my advice on this if you're looking at pick up pick up this card wait watch <laughs> let it continue to free fall and see where it hits if it hits its bottom um one year high was back here at 17 17 bucks and it's all the way down to 11 so that's quite a big drop but yeah so if, if you need this for your master set or you're looking to pick it up I'd just wait a little bit longer, follow it, chase it to the bottom, and try and try and get at the bottom there. This Deoxys V-Star is another great looking card. Um, yeah, I think I graded a few of these in a PSA 10. Super cool card. Uh, it's down nearly 30%, call it 29% right here on the three month. On the one month, it's still tanking, coming down a little bit. So what I mean by, if you guys aren't familiar when I'm saying, when I'm looking at these charts, obviously, I'm talking about it's still on the decline even on the one month, it's on the decline. On the three month, it's on a little bit of a downward slope. Watch the start and then see if it starts to level out because that's usually a better buying point. You And you have to keep in mind as well, um, uh, we'll use this chart right here. See how you don't always know where the absolute bottom is because like say this, see this bottomed out right here and then it leveled out and went up and bottomed down, leveled out, went up, bottomed out, up, 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 bottomed out, went up, bottomed out, went sideways for a little bit. So when I say, when I say try and chase it to the bottom, it, what I mean by that is I'm not saying that, I'm not, I'm not saying that uh, this is the absolute bottom for all of these cards because nobody, nobody can know that. Okay. So just to be clear, nobody can know that, but if you're looking at picking it up recently, you know, because you can't time these things perfectly, nobody nobody times nobody buys at the absolute bottom and sells at the absolute peak. Nobody's really able to do that. I'm, I'm, it does happen, you know. People are able to do that, but that's pretty much just luck. Okay, so nobody can tell you exactly where these cards are going to go. When I say try to follow it, it might be a good buying point. Is what I'm saying is it might be. You know, it it looks like a good buying point. We we you cannot know. So uh, I say this a lot in my videos, but I just kind of want to kind of want to emphasize that point just a little bit of you can't know where they're going to be and i'm not trying to in because these cards all these cards that are tanking right now they could level off they could come back up a little bit and then they could go drop down some more but i'm just saying if you're in the market looking for them it's looking like they're coming up on a good buying point so um that's kind of the best that we can do nobody can nobody can really tell you any of these cards for certain so um i think that's going to do it for this one guys crown zenith um, I wasn't planning on making a Crown Zenith video today. I just, I just was browsing, browsing on TCG Player, and I was like, oh, let me just see what, what Crown Zenith's doing. And uh, I just started looking at some of the singles. Well, I saw the Giratina went sub 100. That's what caught my eye. And I started looking, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're all, they're all just down a lot, with the exception of what that one Deoxys. So, all just down a lot. And that was a little surprising, but then I kind of started thinking about it. And I'm pretty sure it has to be the C and Sky boxes and the ETBs. Um, I would expect at some point these cards have to start rebounding. But I don't know how many of those like gold cards are going to be on the market. And I don't think that this... I don't think that... Like with 151, tons of product is being opened. And the singles are kind of like holding steady or even rising. I think that's because 
it's like the most master set it's at ever. Like people are have to master set 151. I don't think that that's happening with Crown Zenith. I think people, I'm sure there's a decent amount master setting it, but I think most people are just collecting the cards they like. So without the master setting aspect being like super heavy, um, it might take a while for some of these cards to rebound. And it's possible that they never, they don't continue to have that 151 steady climb. But with the popularity of the set, last Sword and Shield set and it being amazing, I do think that it will rebound. It just might take some time. A lot of attention on Scarlet and Violet right now, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, but that's going to do it for this one. If you were this far in the video, if you made it 15 minutes in and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content, so do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button. I post daily Pokemon collecting and investing content every single day for a while. I've been on a big streak, so um, if you guys want to stay up to date on everything, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about what's happening with Crown Zenith. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.